this quick packing video for you of the um, Jujube pack a bee um, diaper bag. I just um, sold my BFF and got this, and I absolutely love it. And I wanted to um, show you how I pack it so that you can decide if this might be a good bag for you. This is the Brown Robin um, pack a bee. I will say it looks much prettier in person than it does online. So if you're um, you know, not sure about the solid, I think the solid brown and um, robin, the light blue lining here is really beautiful. So, um, go ahead and show you the mounting pocket. There's two picture slots up here, a key fob. Normally I just have my keys linked and I um, set them on top and that way when this is closed, if it does happen to fly open, the keys aren't gonna go anywhere or get lost. I've got my Vera Bradley um, strap wallet, which I love. Um, this has a long strap attached to it, so when I'm not using my diaper bag, um, I just take this out and use this crossbody. Love it. Um, and then in here, um, it's a pretty good size pocket. There's a mesh pocket here, which I don't actually have anything in here. Sometimes receipts and things end up there. And another little pocket that I sometimes um, put my phone in. And then there's a long zipper pocket. And that I have a little pill case. A tied to go pen. A zoom app, because we've been going weekly and it's the exact size of the pocket. So that works out kind of nice to keep the zoom app. And then my daughter's um, immunization records so that I don't have to remember to grab it every time we go to the doctor. So that's that pocket. And then in the bottom pocket, that, um, you know, they're both magnetized so they snap right up there, which is nice. I've got this Vera Bradley tune-in case where I keep all my cards. This is actually made to be a little MP3 case where you can wrap your headphones around here, but I um, saw somebody who used this uh, to wrap hair bands around, and I thought that was clever. But I just use it for my cards. It's the perfect size for all my gift cards and membership cards, things that I don't necessarily use all the time. I don't want them in my wallet, but I do want to have this on hand. And then the other mesh pocket here is a little from the Jergens Ocean. And because it is uh, springtime, starting to get sunny, I keep a little stick of Neutrogena Baby uh, Sunblock. It's just like deodorant, but you know, sunblock, not, not deodorant. So there's that. Then on the side here are bottle pockets. I don't have anything in there now, but I do, you know, sometimes put my bo water bottle in one pocket and then sippy cup in the other. And in the back, we've got, the thing I love about this bag is that it can be, um, goes from backpack to messenger really easy. So you can wear it on your back, which is how I normally wear it, just like this. But if you want it to be a shoulder bag or a messenger bag, all you have to do is yank on it and do that. One thing on this bag, um, one downside is that it doesn't come with a grab handle, so um, it can be kind of awkward because you end up grabbing it like this or up here. So I saw some great uh, tips online, and this is a Vera Bradley long strap from one of my old wallets that matches perfectly. And I took that and looped it around and then kind of, you know, just kind of wove it in and out, and now I have a lovely grab handle that looks very uh, pretty on my, my bag. Sorry, my throat is all dry tonight. So, let's go ahead on into the bag. The thing that really makes this bag shine for me is using what's called the um, Sugar Snap Diaper Bag Filing System. It's not a Jujube product, but what it is is individual zippered pouches that have little tabs on them. They're, they come in a set of five. Um, I only am using four of them right now. I'm using the little 
lotions and potions, the dipes and wipes, snacks and supplies, and me and mom. There's also one that's um, called shirts and shirts and socks, but I'm not using it right now. So in the lotions and potions, I actually have like, I think I can fit up to 10 cloth wipes in here, along with white solution and um, my Grivia Magic Stick, which is just like a diaper rash barrier cream and my stick. So this is a perfect size for the wipes. I absolutely love this for cloth wipes. And then in the dipes and the wipes, I've got two cloth diapers. One is a task box, one is a um, all-in-one, medium sized, I think. And um, I can fit up to four cloth diapers in here, but I find that if I keep that many, it bulks it up so much that it it's I can fit everything in here pretty easily, but it just bulks it up a little more than I like. So I figure I don't often need more than two while I'm out. And I've got extra diapers that I'll show you in here too. So it was kind of my grab and go. I just keep two in here. And I could easily put a wet bag. Um, that's another reason I like to keep it a little more empty is because if you use cloth diapers, you know that you can fit a lot more in at the beginning of your day. And then when you start using them and put them in your wet bag, they don't always fit back as compactly. So I still have plenty of room for the dirty diapers. So. Next, we have these snacks and supplies. So as you can see, these come in, well, they come in three different sizes, the dipes and wipes, the snacks and supplies, um, and the shirts and socks bag, again, which I'm not using, are all the largest size. And here I've got these bendy straws. My husband and I um, discovered that we really liked um, carrying bendy straws with us because most restaurants just have straight straws, and so when we didn't have my daughter's sippy cup, we would be giving her water out of just a regular restaurant glass and it was so big and we'd be holding it for her and she couldn't really get her mouth over the straight straw and it was just kind of awkward. So my husband actually had the great idea of um, carrying some bendy straws in the diaper bag. So that's a good tip um, if you're running into that like we were. And then the Itsy Ritsy snack bag. set from Little Gelato. I think these are from Orange Leaf. I hope those are yogurt spoons. Fit nicely in there. These are great for cut up fruit and veggies and stuff too. Little Plum Tots yogurt tipper. Little Aunt Lee's, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, cheddar snack mix. And then two I don't actually keep things for me in here because I just don't need to. Um, again, because of Jujubee, they've got these great mommy pockets that you can hit all of your own stuff in, in the front pockets of the bag. But I keep um, her change of clothes in there. So as you can see, there's three different sizes of these bags. There's the big ones that you, you get three of this size, one of this size, and then one of the smallest size. So then, in here, and this is what I do if I'm going to need a lot of diapers. Instead of bulking up the dipes and wipes bag, I lay extra cloth diapers down flat on the bottom, just in case. And then I even have, this is about the size of a GGB Quick. This is just a bag somebody made me. And I've got four, size four diapers in here, too. So... I've got, you know, eight diapers 
in this bag. That's going to be plenty for most outings, I hope at least. Gosh, if I need more of that, I'm really in trouble and I probably shouldn't be out anyway. Um, and then in the zipper pocket here, I've got my little Vera Bradley um, Java Blue case. I am excited to get to use this. I'm using it as a first aid kit right now. I haven't used it in a long time. Got some boogie wipes and some band-aids, some polysporin, and a nail clipper. And then we have band-aids and all the standard first aid items, and that fits right here. I just started carrying a first aid kit for my daughter. I carried one when she was newborn, and I never needed it, so I ended up taking it out. But it dawned on me that with a 16-month-old uh, who's walking and running and it's uh, spring now and going to be outside a lot more that I should probably have band-aids and things like that on me. And this um, deep mesh pocket here is a bottle of sunblock. I think this would also be a really good size for an umbrella and also um, if I was still using my nursing cover, I think my nursing cover would roll up in there nicely. And there's two more mesh pockets here. And then I've got my pacifier wipes. And then this, I love this. I just got this. This is a soft wipes case made by another uh, Juju B mama out of a change pad. So it's a custom item. I think it goes really nicely with this bag. It's a marvelous mom's print. It's a soft wipes case, so it's lined with um, PUL, and then I've got extra disposable wipes, so if I forget my cloth wipes, or I run out, or I need, you know, disposable wipes for anything, they are all right in there. Do I remember everything? I think so. I didn't show you the changing pad back here, but it's just a pocket for the changing pad. And sometimes I put either my daughter's um, Magna Doodle or Aqua Doodle um, back there. I usually don't carry a lot of toys with me because she's more interested in getting into trouble and, uh, you know, just kind of exploring whatever's around her that I wasn't really using toys very often. So I might carry a couple small things, but I don't need a whole lot. So as you can see... This bag fit quite a bit here, and it was not nearly um, fully packed. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye-bye.